So you can see that I put my points on top of the cactus, but I did it with some random distribution and stuff like that. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So remember, we have all these points from before. They're in these bands and we have our needle shape. Let's put one on top of the other. So for these points, we want to instance on points. So we want to instance on, well, you want to use the right node, instance on points. For each one of these points, we want to use this as a instance, so it's copying. First issue, you can see they're way too big, right? So uh, for the scale, should have made a joke there saying they're too small. Uh, for the scale, we want to use a random value. I'm using a factor, or sorry, a float input one dimensional, so that it's the same X, Y, and Z uniform scaling. And I'm just going to bring this down to like 0.12. I know this number because I played with it uh, before. And I don't want any of these to be invisibly small, so I'm going to have the minimum be 0.05. So you can see we now have our needles a reasonable size. I join them with the cactus, but they're pointing the wrong way. I want them pointed outwards towards the normal. You might be tempted to take your normal from distribute points on faces and connect it here. Would not recommend it. Instead, take the rotation and connect it to rotation. This is going to do effectively what we want, but they're still kind of all pointing the same way, kind of. So you can see this is going down here, down here down here, it's all the same. So for this rotation, we can actually randomize it a bit. I'm gonna vector math, add a random value vector and set this all to zero. So to start off with, uh, one of our axes, it's not X, it's not Z, but it's Y is gonna spin it about the normal. So I'm gonna rotate a lot there so that they're all kind of facing different directions. And then I'm just gonna add a bit on the X. So going from negative one to point negative 0.1 to 0.1 and negative one, negative 0.1 to 0.1 on the Z. Uh, this is just gonna add a bit of variation. And again, you can play around with the scale here to get what you want, or uh, you can go back down to this merge by distance to increase kind of the needle count. But I think this, <clears throat> this looks pretty good. Um, so I think what we are going to do next is I think we're done with the cactus. And by the way, I just wanna mention here, um, all of this has been procedural. We can change the number of ridges to an integer. That's very important. Um, and it's going to keep these needles on the ridges. Um, it's all procedural. In fact, I'm going to set a more reasonable number, like 26. Uh, it's all done. Uh, but now I want to make the pot for this cactus, because I think the cactus shape itself is done. Let's make a pot. <laughs> 